Hello friends and welcome to another live stream. I wanted to share today my four steps to pick yourself up when you're feeling down. We are all living in pretty unprecedented times and for many of us what's happening in the world at the moment is pretty crazy. There's a lot of fear, there's a lot of unknown, there's zero certainty around anything. Our ability to be able to plan and our ability to be able to predict with any degree of certainty what's going to happen in the future is pretty much impossible. And so for many of us that has required letting go and celebrating the death of many things for ourselves, many ideas. I was not supposed to be at home for the last eight months. Myself and my partner were supposed to be traveling the world and in many ways it's been a blessing to be at home and we've had to celebrate the fact that things have been changing. So with everything that's moving in the world at the moment, what do we do when we start to feel sad, when we start to feel down, when we start to feel angry or resentful or um, concerned? I want to share four simple steps with you that, um, that I use to be able to move through these emotions when we feel them. And so if you are tuning in now and you are feeling a little bit down or a little bit frustrated or you have been over the last few weeks, I'd encourage you first of all to let me know what that emotion is called for you. What, what are you feeling? Type that in the comments below. For me it's been a sense of I guess it has a little bit to do with maybe fear, this idea that things are not going to ever go back to the way that they've been before. And that emotion inside me feels like fear. And so if you have an emotion that you've been feeling lately or you're feeling today that's making you feel a little bit sad, write that emotion down in the comments below and I'm going to share the four steps for you to be able to work through these emotions as a way to be able to move through them. And so. The first thing I'm going to share is you need to create a space. You need to create a safe space for yourself where this is the first step where you can allow yourself the permission to feel these emotions. So how does this look? It looks like this. Whatever it is that makes you feel good, you're going to set an alarm for 20 minutes on your phone and you're going to make a cup of tea and you're going to go into your garden. If you're living in a cold place, Make yourself the same cup of tea, grab a notepad and a pen and just go and sit somewhere where you can be alone and take a pen and paper and create an intentional space. I want you to write down on that piece of paper three things right now that you can be grateful for before we even start this. So just write down three, any three things that you can be grateful for. If you've heard videos on this channel before, this is a standard format for almost everything we do is to start with gratitude and find three things that you can be grateful for. Even if one of the things is that I'm giving myself the gift to sit down and unpack why I'm feeling so uncomfortable at the moment. So that's the first step is create a safe space for yourself. Then I want you to give yourself permission to really lean into what it is that you're feeling. Write down the emotions that you're feeling. Apprehension, fear, I'm concerned about my kids. I have no idea what's going to happen with homeschooling. I have no idea what's going to happen with this. Write down the names of the emotions. And I also want you to write down why it is that you are feeling these emotions. So why am I feeling this way? This process is super, super powerful for you to be able to articulate what it is that you're feeling and to allow yourself to feel these feelings. What I want to make super clear in this is this exercise is really about giving yourself permission and holding space for yourself to feel these feelings. If at any point you start to feel anxious or apprehensive and you start to push it down, these are the very things that will start to get you in a loop. Your emotional guidance system is the most powerful guidance system that you can use to let you know it's starting to give you signals about things that are important to you. And so, so that you are able to navigate this world safely, when you don't feel safe, your body lets you know by, I'm just going to hide these comments so that I don't read them while I'm just delivering this. So I'll get to those comments at the end. But your emotional guidance system is inherently there to protect you and to let you know that something isn't lined up in your outside world. And it's not to shame yourself for this. It's really to be able to 
hold space for yourself for these particular feelings. So you're going to write down that you're feeling sad, apprehensive, worried, nervous, any of these emotions and allow yourself to just feel those and write down why you think you feel this way. So I feel worried because I think there's a conspiracy theory and the whole world is just against us and we don't have a chance of getting out of it. Whatever those things are, write them down, just journal them, allow them to get out of your head and onto the paper. You've set an alarm for 20 minutes when you intentionally created the space. So this is not about looping further and deeper down into the, the doldrums of this negative emotion. This is for you to create a safe space for you to be able to articulate what you're feeling and why you are feeling it. So you've created a safe space for yourself, you've set 20 minutes and you've written down on this piece of paper, just in freestyle, what it is that's alive in you that's making you feel this way. Now I want you to be able to first of all celebrate this, the ability to be able to feel these emotions and to be able to feel why you're feeling these emotions is really, really powerful. It really is an amazing gift that you've been able to articulate that you are in this space and that you've been able to articulate why it is that you're feeling the way that you are feeling. Again, when you don't shame it and you bring these emotions into the light, you take away a lot of the power that they hold over you when you just push all your guilt and fear and apprehension away. So this is a really the most powerful part of this exercise. Step three is for you to write down one thing, anything that you think that you can do right now or tomorrow or, or soon, like in, your, in the next little while, that can move you in the right direction to start feeling a little bit better again. So that could be anything. I mean, you're not going to be able to solve the conspiracy theory that you've just heard from your brother-in-law that tells you that some evil force is going to change the world and we're never going to be able to travel ever again or whatever the narrative was that you wrote down in your journal. Let that be. Let that be on the paper. Let it, let it just rest there. You've taken the time to articulate it. But allow yourself to make one step in the right direction, whatever that is, that'll make you feel better. So that could be, I'm just not going to read the news or I'm going to ask my brother-in-law not to share that stuff with me anymore because it doesn't support me. I feel myself coming off my center when I hear that story. And you know that because you wrote it down before. And again, these stories, the stories that you tell yourself always make you feel an emotion. This is your emotional guidance system and this is also at the basis of manifestation. This is the way that you have a story about money that suddenly you feel contraction. We've heard us talking before in this group about starting to focus on the positive emotions. When we start to feel down in the, in the dumps because of all of this stuff, your body's letting you know that those stories are not supporting you at the moment. And so we're not pushing them down, we're celebrating them. And then you're going to write down one thing that you can do right now to be able to move in a direction that gets you a little bit further away from those feelings of um, fear, apprehension, sadness, uh, worry, whatever they were. So that's the third step. Write one thing down that you're going to do, actively do, because once you've put that emotion into the light, you know what it is. You now take control by doing this next step. The one thing that you're going to do, I've got cat hair somewhere. You have one step that you're actually now able to do. You suddenly have the control to be able to shift that story. You've identified what it is. And this, this is the powerful piece of manifestation that once you get this, you can use this for anything. So create the space, journal what it is that you're feeling and why it is that you believe that you're feeling it. Then the next thing is to write down one thing that you can do as a way to be able to move forward in an empowered way. And the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is to move your body. Do whatever you can just to move your body. Maybe you want to turn on some music, put on some headphones, dance. Maybe you want to go do some yoga or exercise or walk the dog. But allow your body to move in a way that is now going to let those emotions shift through you. You're not, you're not bypassing them. You're letting them move through your body and you're celebrating this emotional guidance system, this powerful, powerful tool that you've got that is giving you the most unbelievable advice to keep you safe. The moment you suppress those things, you get stuck in a loop and you start to feel worse. So those are the four steps that I think you should be following to really hold space for these emotions, acknowledge why they're coming up, see what it is that they're trying to tell you, and celebrate the fact that you've been able to catch yourself in these moments when you start to feel these emotions. And let me tell you, if you're feeling this and you are able to take action, 
Let me say that again. When you feel an emotion, a negative emotion, and I do this in inverted commas because there is no negative emotion. Every emotion is giving you some sort of signal and a negative emotion is a signal that you need to shift a story that you're not safe or that you need to make some changes. So if you are able to identify that you're feeling an emotion and you take action on it, that is mastery in terms of your ability to be able to create your own reality using the law of attraction. Because many of us get stuck in that story and we don't take action and we don't take empowered place to be able to allow ourselves to feel these things in a compassionate way with ourselves. And when we're not compassionate with ourselves, we, put, we push all these emotions down. And there's a great saying that says, when you don't process your emotions, they go down into the basement and they start lifting weights. And they come back bigger and the more you push them down they do it again and again and then eventually you're stuck in this negative spiral where it feels like you can never get out so as soon as you start to feel a bit of contraction allow yourself the space to be able to acknowledge what those are and create an intentional meditation like i've just given you now these four steps 20 minutes give yourself some space set an alarm and at the end of 20 minutes you will have gone through this journaling practice where you wrote down three things you're grateful for what you're feeling why you think you're feeling it what you're going to do and then go and move your body go and dance go and run go and do something to just get and see how much better you feel so i wonder if there were any questions um i used to do this it helped me realize i was feeling very temporary cool yeah melissa has started homeschooling her kids i know that can be a massive challenge for many of us the space that we used to have for ourselves for self-love is starting to disappear we love the fact that we're at home with our kids all the time and there's no time to sit and take a bath or wash your hair or you've got to show up for homework all the time. And so we're living in a state of change and we're living in a state of flux and we're all responsible for our own well-being. And if you're starting to feel feelings of apprehension, depression, sadness, blah, 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 and, 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 take a breath, make that cup of tea, set your alarm for 20 minutes, tell the kids you're going to be okay. Find a space where you can chill and go through this exercise and then allow yourself to move your body afterwards and just see how that starts to feel in your body. So if that lands for you, please will you do me a favor and share this onto your social platforms. There are so many people at the moment who are reaching out for help. And um, the last thing I'd like to say is if you need some help, we've done a vlog on this before, is allow yourself the vulnerable and powerful position to ask for help. Please, this community is full of people that are showing up for one another. We've got mentorship in this group that is completely free. People that understand the law of attraction, healers, coaches, write in the comments below here if there's anything that you need to be able to be supported. And if you're in a strong position, share this with somebody that you feel might need it. It might be exactly what they need today to be able to move through these um, uncomfortable emotions that many of us are are feeling at the moment and as I said we're celebrating these emotions and we are taking the lessons that are inherently there to be able to shift ourselves so Ashley Black thank you so much for sharing this uh, with Jack and with Lisa and uh, thank you so much for showing up inside this group and um, sending you love in these crazy times ciao from Guatemala